Hello student, today we shall go to the third part of public debt. Myself Bhavendra Kumar Das and I welcome you to again the chapter public debt. And debt of the nation, that's the debt faced by the nation during various difficulties in order to fulfill the crisis, in order to fulfill the uh, shortfall of revenue in the nation, government raised the debt either inside the nation or outside the nation. So, public debt is a debt raised by the nation uh, that's a purpose to serve the uh, necessity or the necessity of the nation. And then, today we shall, uh, we have already discussed the various uh, features of public debt, difference between private debt and public debt, and types of public debt, its effect. Now, today we shall discuss the uh, burden of public debt and how the redemption of public debt is taken place. Now we shall discuss what is the burden of public debt. There we see as a debt is there are two types there both the internal burden as well as the external burden of public debt is there. It is creating from the burden inside the nation and from outside the nation. What type of burden actually the people are facing, the government is facing on the public debt let us discuss. First one, internal burden, direct money burden. So what is the public debt in order to fulfill, in order to repay the public debt, government impose the additional taxation. So there the sacrifice of the people is there more and the transfer of extra purchasing power of the people. The purchasing power of the people is going into hand of the government to repay the public debt. Then what will happen? The divergence between the rich and poor will increase. Because the government is taking the debt or raising the debt from the rich section of the society and the what the government imposed tax and is not taxes on that is what is power is going into the hands of the government and to repay the debt. So ultimatum is there the circulation of money from the poor to the riches. So divergence of gap between the rich and poor is taken place. That's your direct money burden. Indirect money burden, you see that if the loan is is for the governmental purpose, then what will happen? If the loan is used for the governmental purpose, like the making of dam, making of bridge, making of uh, industrialization, so what will happen? The demand of the people is increasing. The extra demand of the people, that's the indirect burden. So extra demand of the people, that means the need extra purchasing power, that purchasing power of the people will increase, so that the value of goods and services decrease in the a uh, value of goods and services increase in the economy, then what will happen? The people, their income of the people, shortfall of their expenditure. That's the indirect money burden that's taken place. Direct real burden, third one, direct real burden, what's the real burden? The additional tax pay, uh, the principal and interest transfer money from poor to riches. That active to passive. The passive are the beneficial person in the society. The additional taxes on that's a passive of uh, the people, the indirect tax for the government increase the indirect tax means what will happen? The active are getting benefit for a passive are the loser. So passive are the getting benefit for a active are the loser. So you see active to passive. The, those persons are riches, they rich become more riches and poor become more poor. That's so indirect real problem. In next one, that indirect real, direct real problem, this one, and then indirect real problem of loan. To repay the loans, indirect taxes imposed on the common mass and which discourage the saving, investment, and working capability of the people. When the government imposes the indirect tax, then what will happen? The disposable income of the people will decrease. That will hamper their working capability their investment, their saving, their uh, prosperity, that's an indirect real problem. So you see that there's an internal debt create the four types of problem, direct money problem, indirect money problem, direct real problem, and indirect real problem. Now, what the debt we are bringing from other nation of the world that is known as your uh, external debt, like the internal debt reach within the nation from either from the central bank or commercial bank or financial institution or non-financial institution or from the public that should you see that internal debt for external debt is being from the IBRD, World Bank or IMF and World Organization in other nations of the world. 
it is necessary for the government to uh, repay that debt. Direct money money that increase in export to pay the foreign currency. If we increase the export, then what will foreign currency will come and we have to pay the debt. Then what will happen? Some person of the society they deprive of such goods because as more export is there, the goods then less least availability of that goods in the economy. So most of the section of the society how will not able to purchase that goods. Then what will they deprive of such goods? Their consumption is uh, declining. Then what will happen? That's a direct money burden that created in the society. Next one, indirect money burden. Indirect money burden. That's you see that indirect money burden due to the export of goods and services. Uh, price of the goods and services increase in the nation. So what about the what about the existing goods that we observe in the nation that their prices increasing as you are exporting a lot parts to other nation of the world the the amount available in the nation their prices will increase due to the increase in demand so the people have to pay more for that product that's a burden of that is they are indirectly money burden in the uh, on the people next one direct real burden that's a tax for weaker section of the society taxpayer deprived of certain benefits so you see that as the government imposes the additional taxes on them what will happen the benefit of the the benefit of their purchasing power is going into the pocket of the government and government export it to the other nation of the world that's real problem that arise here that's indirect real world and it's a direct real world and indirect real world what do we observe heavy tax adversely affect the willingness and ability to work the willingness and ability to work of the people is adversely affected due to a large extent due to impoachment of tax so there you see internal debt having also poor effect and external debt poor effects they are there now redemption of public debt how can you redeem it how can the government uh, uh, repay the public debt or uh, for the government uh, take the measures to do this first one repudiation repudiation means not ability to pay the or deny to pay the tax so deny to pay the debt if a government deny to pay the debt if a nation deny to pay the debt what will you have to make your military very strong that ultimatum is ruin of the nation first one further loan will not be sanctioned then what will happen so Principal and interest, A, the principal and interest is very high, it is impossible for the nation to repay it. Then, that it created a lot of problem that further loan cannot be granted to that nation, it will be declared bankruptcy. And a lot of problem are there, and the military action may be taken place, so you have to make your military strong, that type of problem that arises in the case of repudiation. Next one, conversion of loan, the old loan can be converted into a uh, new loan or higher rate of interest loan can be converted into low rate of interest that is the conversion and that that may not create a lot of burden that is usually gradually the government able to repay it next one utilization of budgetary surplus if there is surplus in the budget government use the budgetary surplus to repay the loan then the budgetary surplus so suppose our expenditure is less as compared to our current revenue then what amount we we have the current surplus amount that is used to repay the uh, public debt. That's your budgetary surplus, utilization of budgetary surplus, they are very important one. And next one, uh, terminal annuity. If it is difficult for the nation to pay, it is a whole of public debt that the government uh, talk with that particular party and convert it into terminal annuity. And in a particular interval of time, government pay the installment of the debt and at the maturity total debt is paid that's a very easy one that's a convenient one and there is no extra burden over the economy then refunding the payment of loan before the maturity when the low rate of interest low rate of interest is very low when there is government pay the loan before the maturity so there is less burden over the economy next compulsory reduction of rate of interest if there is internal debt government compulsory reduction in the rate of interest so that government able to pay the debt if government bring from the developed nation of the world the loans from the world organization if the financial problem of the if the financial position of the nation is not good one government may request to that nation to reduce the rate of interest so that it is easy for the government to pay the loan but that may be also sometimes the 
फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट नेक्स्ट वन सिंकिंग फंड सिंकिंग फंड इज द फंड दैट इज क्रिएटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड इट सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द बजट दैट्स इयरली बजट इज टेकन टू क्रिएट अ फंड इफ द एंड दैट फंड मे बी यूज्ड टू पे द लोन टू दैट इज यूज्ड टू पे द डेप्ट ऑफ द नेशन देन कैपिटल वे दैट्स अ इंपोजमेंट ऑफ टैक्स और इंपोजमेंट ऑफ कैपिटल टैक्स और लिवे ऑफ टैक्स दैट्स इन कैपिटल मार्केट और इन कैपिटल इन पर्टिकुलरली दैट दैट इज वेरी यूजफुल टू रिपे द लोन सो यू पीपल अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो द बर्डन ऑफ दैट दैट्स इंटरनल बर्डन एक्चुअली इज द एक्सटर्नल बर्डन दैट द फोर टाइप ऑफ बर्डन एंड नेक्स्ट वन रिडक्शन ऑफ पब्लिक डेप्ट आई थिंक यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज प्रॉपर्ली एंड दिस फॉर टुडे